think the reality is, I've heard better people sing outside subway stations. This English television producer and talent judge doesn't mean to be rude, but... I'm not being rude, but that was one of the worst auditions I've ever heard. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're taking a look at the life and career of Simon Cowell. Next. Simon Philip Cowell was born on October 7, 1959, in London, England. After attending preparatory school, he went on to study at Dover College. However, he eventually dropped out and then took on several small jobs. He finally got his start in the music industry after being hired as a mailroom clerk at EMI, where his father was an executive. This led to a string of positions at several record companies. Cowell achieved his first taste of success at Fanfare Records during the 1980s, when several of the independent label's artists went on to achieve top 10 hits. So macho, he's gotta be so macho. After suffering financial difficulties, Cowell moved on to BMG, and there, he signed a number of successful acts as an A&R consultant. In 2001, he became a judge on the British television series Pop Idol. On this show, aspiring singers attempted to impress judges and viewers with their talents, and the winner received a record deal. It was an instant success, and Cal signed the first season's runner-up to his label, Psycho. Don't leave me waiting here. The next year, he served as judge on the US spin-off American Idol, and this show also drew high ratings. AI went on to produce numerous pop stars, most notably Jordan Sparks, Carrie Underwood, and Kelly Clarkson. And I think you just put yourself up in the same league as Celine and Mariah Carey. Congratulations. Cowell soon built a reputation for himself as an extremely blunt and critical judge, and some even found him to be rude to contestants. You are one of the worst singers I've ever heard in my life. I've never ever heard anything like that in my life. One of the worst I've ever heard in my life. 1.5 out of 10 at most. I think that's probably the weirdest voice I've ever heard in my life. Of course, this helped ratings even further, and so many Idol spin-offs tried to duplicate the series' successful formula by adding a caustic personality similar to Cowell's. You're what? Busking. You're busking? Yeah. You must be the poorest busker I know. For sure, maybe. No one's gonna give you money, except to go away. During this time, Cowell was also hard at work searching for singers who could combine their vocals with classical music. This project came to be known as Il Devo, and the group's first album came out in 2004. The quartet's ability to sing with an operatic pop style in several languages turned them into an international success. That same year, Cal created the British television series The X Factor. He appeared as a judge on several seasons of the successful music competition-style show and even signed the third-season winner Leona Lewis to his label. Keep bleeding, keep, keep bleeding. In 2006, Cowell became involved with a number of different shows. These included celebrity duets, where stars sang with different partners, American Inventor, where budding entrepreneurs competed against each other, and America's Got Talent, where performers with various talents showed off their skills. The Got Talent format went on to spawn several spin-offs around the world. I dream the dream in time gone by. That same year, Cowell accepted a deal to remain on American Idol for five more years. With this contract, he earned over $30 million per season. Then, in 2007, he added to the charity work he already did by creating a two-episode television special called Idol Gives Back to raise money for the less fortunate. While continuing with American Idol, Cal co-produced the British television drama Rock Rivals in 2008. Two years later, he had his last season on American Idol. This was followed by his role as judge on the American version of The X Factor, which debuted in 2011. It's a $5 million audition, and you're going to get the cash if you win. You just better be good. Though he may be most famous for his disparaging personality, Simon Cowell is an entrepreneur who has become very successful by combining his interests in television and music. I don't like music anymore.